Welcome to the Pro Kitchen 3D Edge tutorial. 3D Edge is an entirely new 3D technology that produces fast and reliable high definition quality renderings directly in the interactive 3D viewer. It gives designers access to groundbreaking features such as being able to see shadows and reflections while in interactive mode, photorealistic lights and glow on all lights in each light fixture, and dynamic reflections on metallic surfaces. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate all of the fantastic features found within the new 3D viewer. Let's get started. To view your Pro Kitchen design in 3D, select the 3D icon from your top toolbar, or select the 3D icon from the ribbon under the 3D tab at the top. The 3D Edge Viewer will open and start to render your design. When your cursor stops displaying a loading circle, you can start to use the tools in the top toolbar to interact with your design in 3D. Use the Save tool to save your 3D image to your computer as a JPEG or PNG file. Use the print tool to print your 3D image or print the image to a PDF file. Use the camera control tools to turn the bottom toolbar on or off that consists of your shift, rotate, and zoom tools to change the camera perspective. Use the top view tool to switch to a 90, 60, or 30 degree top view angle of your design in 3D. Use the front view tool to switch to one of your elevation views in your design in 3D. Use the saved views tool to create custom view perspectives of your design to switch to at any time. Use the hide invisible walls tool to turn the invisible walls feature on or off. Use the open and close tool to open and close all cabinet doors and drawers in your design. Use the lighting tool to adjust your lighting settings on the lights added throughout your design. Use the brightness control tool to adjust the brightness of the whole room. Use the 3D view and isometric tools to switch between color and black and white in 3D. Use the refine tool to enhance the HD quality of your image or to add the ambient occlusion shadows to your black and white image. Use the create panorama tool to create a 360 degree panorama of your design. Use the render settings tool to adjust the performance of the 3D edge viewer based on your computer's RAM. And lastly, use the toggle full screen tool to enter or exit full screen mode. To change the camera perspective and move throughout your design in 3D, use the camera control tools. The arrows will shift your entire image up, down, left, or right. The plus and minus magnifying glasses will zoom in or out on your design and the rotate arrows will rotate your entire design in 360 degrees left, right, up, or down. You can also access these tools using your computer's mouse. Left click and drag to shift your design. Right click and drag to rotate around your design. And scroll up or down to zoom in or out. When changing the camera perspective in 3D Edge, the soft shadows and reflections are temporarily disabled to improve the perspective frame speed of your image. Once you stop moving the image, Pro Kitchen will briefly load and the soft shadows and reflections will reappear with your new perspective. When your cursor displays a loading circle in the 3D viewer, wait for Pro Kitchen to stop rendering the image before trying to rotate or move your camera view. To enhance the quality of the soft shadows and reflections to display a better HD image, click the Refine tool. You'll want to click this before saving or printing any of your views in 3D to ensure the best image quality. 
You can also use the top, front, and saved views to jump to a specific perspective of your design in 3D. Top view will give you a bird's eye view of your design at a 90, 60, or 30 degree angle. Front view will let you select any of your created elevation views and display them at a 0, 45, or negative 45 degree angle. Save views lets you save custom perspectives to switch to when needed. First, position your image in the perspective you wish to save using the camera control tools or your mouse, and then open the saved view settings. In the sidebar that appears, type in a name to give your saved view at the top, and then click Save View. Your saved views will be displayed below, and you can click on any of them to switch to that perspective. You can also set your own custom default views for the 3D viewer. Default views are the default camera perspective that will automatically be displayed anytime you reopen the 3D viewer with this design. To set a default view, First, position your image in the 3D viewer to the desired perspective that you wish to set as your default. Then, in the Save View Settings sidebar, click on the three vertical dots in the top right hand corner of the sidebar and select the Set as Default option. Now, when you reopen your 3D viewer, this is the perspective it will default to. The other options from the vertical three dots will display the current default and set the default back to Pro Kitchen's original default. And to exit the sidebar, simply click the Saved Views tool again. The Hide Invisible Walls feature is automatically turned on and you can select the tool to turn it off as needed. This feature is dependent on your wall zones and the objects you have placed inside of those wall zones. What it does is, as you rotate and move throughout your design in 3D, ProKitchen will detect objects inside of wall zones that might block your perspective and automatically hide them so that you can see the objects directly in front of it clearly. If you don't have your wall zones turned on before you enter 3D mode, this feature will not work properly. So make sure the zone button at the bottom of your ProKitchen interface is blue. The Open and Close Doors tool will open all of the cabinet doors and drawers in your design. Click the tool again to close all of the doors and drawers. You can also open and close one door and drawer at a time by clicking on it in your design. The Lighting Settings lets you adjust all of the lights and light sources throughout your design. The sunlight from your windows can be adjusted using the daylight settings. You can turn it on or off and adjust its watt intensity between minimum and maximum. For each light in every light fixture, you are able to see the glow. For each one, you can turn them on or off, adjust its watt intensity, and change the color of the light. Any changes made to the lights will reload and display in your 3D image. The disperse light is used to accurately illuminate your room with the correct color reflections as if it were in real life. If you turn it off, you will create harsh dark shadows, so leave that light on and adjust its watt intensity as needed. If you wish to set all of your lights back to their original default, click the vertical three dots in the top right hand corner of the sidebar and select Set Default. Click the lighting tool again to close the sidebar. Brightness control will enable a brightness slider on the right hand side of the 3D viewer and let you adjust the brightness level of the whole room. Move the slider up to make it more bright and down to darken it. After adjusted, give it a second to load and then it will display the changes. Click on the brightness icon again to hide the brightness slider. 
The 3D viewer will always open and render in full color, but if you wish to view your design in black and white, click on the isometric view tool. ProKitchen will quickly re-render your design and display it in a 3D black and white line drawing image. You can reposition your image the exact same way you would with the color 3D. And now, if you click on the Refine tool, it will add ambient occlusion shadows, creating a sketch style rendering of your design with depth. The rendering settings lets you adjust the performance of your 3D Edge viewer based on your computer's RAM. Click on the gear icon to open the render settings. In the left sidebar that appears, you can use the slider to change the speed and quality of your 3D Edge viewer to fast render, balanced, or quality image. Changing the settings to fast render will speed up the rendering time of the 3D Edge viewer by two times to improve its performance. This is best for users on older computers with eight gigabytes of RAM. Changing the settings to quality image will improve the image quality by two times when rendering in 3D Edge viewer. This is recommended to ensure the best image quality and works best for newer computers with powerful RAM and graphics card. Changing or leaving the settings to balanced in the middle will give you the best of both, so you can experience fast rendering along with great image quality. After you adjust the settings to how you want it, click the apply button below. Then, you'll need to restart the 3D viewer in order for the settings to take effect. Click the X in the top right hand corner of the dialog to close it, and then wait 5 seconds before reopening. After 5 seconds, click on the 3D icon again, and once it reopens, you'll see the performance has changed according to your new rendering settings. You can use the 3D viewer in full screen mode by clicking the last tool on the toolbar. Then to exit full screen mode, simply click on the tool again. To save or print your 3D images, first make sure you have the perspective you want to save or print positioned in the viewer. Also make sure you have your desired lighting and brightness settings set. Then, click on the Refine tool to ensure the best image quality. Once it's done rendering, then click on the Save or Print tool. The Save tool will let you save the image to your computer as a PNG or JPEG file. And the Print tool will let you print your 3D image or print it to a PDF file on your computer. Lastly, to create a 360 degree panorama, click on the Create Panorama tool. The 3D viewer will switch to a 90 degree top view of your design with the panorama controls layered on top. The camera symbol indicates the position of the camera in your design that ProKitchen will create a panorama from. The frame icon on the radius perimeter around the camera indicates the starting position of your panorama, where the panorama will begin to rotate from in your design. Both of these you can left click and drag to reposition in your design. In the sidebar, you'll find your render quality settings. Select the size of your final panorama render rendering and then click Render, and ProKitchen will begin to create your panorama. When your panorama is done rendering, your web browser will automatically launch to show you a preview of the panorama you just created. Close the web browser and return to your ProKitchen, and your panorama gallery will be open with a notice message informing you to save your panorama to the cloud. Click OK to dismiss, the notification and select the panorama you just created. You'll notice there is no web browser link yet next to your new panorama. 
In order to create the web browser link for your panorama and make it public to whoever you wish to share the link with, you have to select it and then click the Save to Cloud button at the bottom. Then, ProKitchen will quickly finalize your panorama and create the shareable web browser link. Once done, you can copy that web browser link and share it with your customers, coworkers, or whoever you'd like. You can also email the Panorama link directly from ProKitchen by selecting it and then clicking the email button at the bottom. An email settings dialog will appear and you can fill out the information accordingly. Back in the main interface, you'll see a new tool located next to your 3D icon that looks like a switch. You can click this to switch the 3D viewer from 3D Edge to 3D Classic our previous 3D viewer. You can also choose which 3D viewer to use by selecting it in the ribbon underneath the 3D tab. And that's it! Now you're ready to showcase your 3D Pro Kitchen designs utilizing the fastest, most reliable 3D te technology in the industry, 3D Edge.